Another Fox News alert now. Southern California, a commuter train has collided with a truck. This is Oxnard, California, north and west of L.A., right near the Pacific Ocean. There are reports of injuries. Nine ambulances so far at last count have been called to the scene. Aerials from Fox L.A. here. Adam Housley also is up in our bureau in Los Angeles as well. Adam, what are you hearing? Yeah, Bill, this happened about 545 local time, so just more than an hour ago in Oxnard. You're talking about 60 miles or so north of Los Angeles, so really right at the height of commute time, this Metrolink train was headed south uh, towards Los Angeles and struck a truck, so we're told. Right now we know, at least locals are saying, 30 injured. Uh, they have not said of any uh, fatalities. We do know if you look at the pictures, they're pretty dramatic. Three cars are on their side. Uh, one is off the track and kind of crooked, and then we know the truck it struck caught fire. Some of the pictures that are coming Coming in from on Twitter and other various forms are pretty dramatic of that truck on fire. And you can see they've shut down that road there, which runs parallel. There's one of the pictures right there uh, of the train hitting the truck at 545 this morning. There's another one right there. You can see a very uh, high commute area as people head from the Oxnard Ventura area uh, down through Camarillo, over the hill into the valley, San Fernando Valley, and on into Los Angeles generally. You can see right there it's on its side. Right now, train service, we've been told, is basically stopped from the north. They only can go to Camarillo. Rio from the south. If you know Los Angeles, that's a pretty big deal for a lot of people. There's the truck right there. That's what's left of it. Uh, as you can see, it caught fire and basically burned to the ground. Uh, we don't know the, 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 how that driver survived or not, or whether he's injured or not, or we don't know anything about that other than the fact that the train struck that, uh, that vehicle um, and it caused problems. We've seen at least at points, Bill, uh, five, six, seven people being treated at the same time as we've watched our live pictures come in from Fox, uh, Fox 11 here in Los Angeles. Um, but as of right now, we're told 30 injured. At least that's the initial report. As you know, these things change uh, as it goes on, as the breaking news continues, um, and they start to sort things out. Uh, but so far, they've said no fatalities. We don't know if that's going to hold, but as you can see, Bill, it's still a very um, evolving situation, Indeed. to say the least, yeah. uh, as the rescues continue and the treatment continues. You can see the ambulance is right there alongside the railroad track. Would have been yeah. about 6.30 in the morning, so that is commuter line um, going into L.A. 545, 545 local time, Bill, yeah, which so is right it, in the middle of commute for there, us. It would have been crowded, uh, perhaps not as crowded as it may have been a bit later, but Adam, stand by there in Los Angeles. We will back on, uh, be back on this story. Uh, in a moment here. Breaking news here in America's newsroom. We'll be right back.